Have you ever decided to go on a road trip that you sincerely felt was a terrible idea? Well, here's one such trip. One moonlit night, my friends and I embarked on a road trip, seeking adventure along the desolate highways that wind through forgotten towns and eerie landscapes. Our destination was an abandoned asylum nestled deep in the woods, a place whispered about in hushed tones as a haven for the paranormal. The road stretched endlessly before us, flanked by dense woods that seemed to swallow the feeble glow of our headlights. As we ventured further into the night, an unsettling silence settled in, broken only by the hum of the engine and the occasional creaking of the car. Our first stop was an abandoned cemetery, a forgotten resting place for those who had long slipped from memory. The air grew thick with an otherworldly stillness as we wandered through the crumbling gravestones, each one a silent testament to lives unknown. As we continued our journey, the landscape transformed into a desolate stretch of road bordered by decaying structures. The shadows danced on the dilapidated facades, casting haunting shapes that seemed to tell tales of the past. We approached an old, abandoned hospital, rumored to be a site of unspeakable tragedies. Curiosity overwhelmed our senses, and we entered the crumbling building. The air inside was heavy with the musty scent of decay. Flickering lights and distant echoes created a surreal atmosphere as we navigated the dimly lit corridors. A sudden draft sent a chill down our spines, and we heard faint whispers that seemed to reverberate through the abandoned halls. As we delved deeper, we stumbled upon a room with a rusted gurney and tattered curtains. The air turned icy, and a distant moan echoed, chilling us to the bone. Shadows danced on the walls, casting grotesque shapes that seemed to materialize from the darkness. Leaving the hospital behind, we pressed on toward the abandoned asylum, our nerves on edge. The moon cast an eerie glow on the looming structure as we approached. Broken windows and peeling paint told tales of a place that had witnessed the unraveling of minds. Entering the asylum, we were greeted by a silence so profound it felt suffocating. The air was thick with the lingering energy of past anguish. Footsteps echoed through the empty corridors, and distant whispers grew louder telling tales of forgotten souls trapped within the asylum's walls. As we explored further, our flashlights flickered, casting long, ominous shadows. The asylum seemed to come alive with the ghosts of its tormented past. Doors creaked open on their own, and cold drafts brushed against our faces, as if unseen hands were guiding our journey through the haunted halls. The road trip, initially fueled by curiosity, became a harrowing odyssey into the heart of darkness. With trepidation, we left the haunted asylum behind, the moon now hidden behind thick clouds that seemed to gather ominously. The road ahead appeared distorted, winding through dense woods that whispered tales of the forgotten and the forsaken. As we continued our journey, the atmosphere in the car became increasingly tense. Uneasy glances were exchanged, and the air inside seemed to carry the weight of the supernatural encounters we had just witnessed. The road itself became a winding, shadowy serpent leading us further into the unknown. Our next destination was an abandoned mansion atop a desolate hill, a place known for its tragic history and inexplicable occurrences. The wind howled as we approached, and the mansion loomed against the night sky like a specter from another time. The entrance creaked open with an eerie groan as if welcoming us into its haunted embrace. Dusty chandeliers swayed in the faint breeze, and the air smelled of decay. We climbed the grand staircase, each step echoing through the vacant halls, stirring the dormant spirits that dwelled within. In a forgotten room, we discovered a collection of old photographs, faces frozen in time, and eyes that seemed to follow our every move. The atmosphere thickened, and the temperature dropped. A distant sound, like a mournful wail, reverberated through the mansion, sending shivers down our spines. With a sense of urgency, we left the mansion, the road now leading us through a dense forest. The trees closed in around us, their twisted branches creating eerie silhouettes against the night sky. The path ahead seemed to warp and twist, playing tricks on our senses. Suddenly, the car's engine sputtered, and the headlights flickered. Panic set in as we found ourselves stranded in the heart of the haunted woods. The night seemed to close in, and the forest echoed with strange, ethereal sounds that seemed to mock our predicament. As we huddled together in the flickering light of the car, a figure emerged from the shadows. A ghostly apparition, cloaked in mist, moved silently towards us. It beckoned with spectral hands, its eyes filled with a sorrowful plea. Frozen in fear, we watched as the figure dissipated into the darkness, leaving us alone in the haunted woods. After what felt like an eternity, the car miraculously roared back to life. With the engine's reluctant hum, 
we sped away from the ghostly encounter, leaving the haunting forest behind. The road trip, now a tapestry of bone-chilling memories, had taken us on a journey into the realms of the supernatural, where the past and present converged in a night of spectral revelations. Unleash the frights and chills. Subscribe now, or risk being haunted by the ghosts of unclicked buttons. Missing out means your sense of fear might turn into a pumpkin at midnight. Don't let your fear get lost in the spooky shadows. Hit subscribe and join the hilariously haunted party. Brace yourself for chills, thrills, and side-splitting spills.